Hey, hello everyone, this is Rajan from Informatica GCS team. In our today's session, we are going to discuss about LDAP integration in MDM. Before getting into the details, let's go over the agenda for today's session. So let's check about LDAP followed by the LDAP integration in MDM steps and then a demonstration of those steps and finally the reference articles which might be helpful for you when you try to integrate this LDAP in MDM. So LDAP lightweight directory access protocol as name suggests it is a protocol this protocol is giving access to the information contained in the directory it is often used for authentication and storing information about users groups and application so, so as you are aware MDM already has its own in-house authentication methods accordingly the user authentication in MDM hub console IDD and provisioning works but some customer has their own external authentication method which they want to use in the implementation for those scenarios LDAP is being widely used and also please note MDM does not store the LDAP user password in the repository tables and it is not stored anywhere else in the MDM layer thus it will directly contact the LDAP server with the password provider if the LDAP server authenticates the provided password successfully then the user will be able to log into MDM and let's see how the LDAP actually works so LDAP works in two level of authentication method the first one is being LDAP bind authentication and the next one is LDAP search and bind authentication so in LDAP bind authentication method when a user logs in it will bind the username to a matching username in the LDAP server if the LDAP bind succeeds the user is allowed access in simple words I should have a user in LDAP layer and I should have a user in MDM so both the user user should be matching so in that scenario the bind will happen and the LDAP server will allow that user to authenticate the other method is LDAP search and bind authentication this comes into picture when the customer is trying to use uh, a different user identifier rather than using a distinguished name domain name or email used in simple bind authentication with LDAP search and bind authentication we can choose any other attribute on which to authenticate the user for example you you can use attributes such as first name employee ID or uh, SAM account name so search and bind records your active directory information okay to integrate LDAP in MDM so there are common steps what we need to take care of first thing is we should have a user in LDAP server and this will be done with the help of your LDAP team and the next step is be creating a same user in MDM hub console and the third one is creating the template for open LDAP or Microsoft directory through security providers also you can use register user API to register the selected user for this enterprise authentication systems okay. for bulk users group sync operation from LDAP we use LDAP user synchronization and LDAP group synchronization scripts refer resource kit for more configuration details on this part as part of LDAP integration first thing is we should get the LDAP URL details and we should get the username postfix and username prefix details when using the open LDAP template the following provider properties appear by default and the values can be edited however when using the Microsoft Active Directory template these properties do not appear by default we should add these properties let me show how it actually works so when I try to create a login module and when I try to choose open LDAP template if I click OK as you could see username.postfix and username.prefix properties are added by default whereas I'm trying to add a login module with Microsoft Active host directory so that will not show the prefix and postfix properties so in such case we have to add those details manually in the MDM layer we will get all the associated 
logging in CMX server log files for this LDAP related transactions. So let's say when you're facing some issues with respect to the LDAP integration, you can make the logging mode to TPEG for com.cyperion and com.delos and you can cross check the loggings. Also it would be helpful if you can add the additional logger below to your log4j XML. So that would be com.cyperion.sam.auths.jas. So now let's check the quick demonstration of the integration steps. This will give you a clearer idea how the integration works. As mentioned earlier, the first step is going to be the user creation in LDAP level. So I'm going to create an LDAP user, new user. okay so as you could see I have created the demo LDAP user in LDAP level so if I go into the properties and attribute editor I can get the distinguished name for this specific user so this is the distinguished name which is going to be used in the MDM hub console yeah, this is the LDAP distinguished name what we copied from our LDAP server so as you could see this is going to be my LDAP username and uh, this is going to be my prefix and this is going to be my postfix so as you could see in the username dot prefix I'll be adding the CN equal to and postfix I'll be adding this particular value and this is going to be my user so what I'm going to do is I need to create a new user in MDM level So here I'm not going to choose the password because when this password is provided it is going to the in-house authentication as LDAP external authentication is being used I will be choosing use external authentication option. Okay. As you could see I have created the demo LDAP user here. Now I will try to authenticate with this user yeah as you could see through this user I'm able to log into the MDM console okay so I have uh, listed the few reference KB articles you can go over the same article to get more details about the LDAP thank you so much for your time have a great day